What I need to do first is I need to prep my, prep my broccoli and my potatoes. So I just preheated my oven to 425 degrees. And I'm going to cut my broccoli into bite-sized pieces and my fingerling potatoes into points. So I'm going to put it in my bowl here and I can do this with the broccoli and the potatoes. And the good thing is I have my instructions here, so I kind of can't screw it up. Now this is great if you're a working parent or a busy parent, or maybe you want to cook healthier and you're really not sure how to start. Potatoes are cut. They're in my bowl. And that's it. That's really all the prep I have to do. Except to add more broccoli. So I'm using two tablespoons of oil. And now I'm just going to toss this all together. So now I have everything on one layer on my baking sheet. And I'm going to pop this into the oven for about 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Now I'm going to take the boneless chicken thighs and put them in my bowl with a little leftover oil. So I'm going to kind of mix the oil that was already in here all on my chicken. Just season it with a little salt and pepper. Turn down my pan, I'm going to add a little oil. And I'm going to start searing my chicken for about a minute. Start adding my chicken. Okay, they say to finish this in the oven. So I'm going to transfer this to a baking rack. I'm going to pop this into the oven. I'm going to flip these over a little. Oh, I love roasted broccoli. It's really good. Seven minutes left on this. So I added the cream cheese and it's a bit lumpy. So here it is, the roasted chicken thighs with some roasted vegetables. Voila!